brief recap of some top local headlines this morning. Reading police have arrested the suspect in a string of bank robberies across several counties. Police believe this man, 38 year old Gregory Wise, robbed banks in Reading, Chico and Red Bluff. RPD says he wore sunglasses over a rubber mask covered by a surgical mask to disguise himself. Well, he was booked into jail. The Shasta County District Attorney says 35 year old Ryan James Rovito was sentenced to prison for hiding a camera in a bathroom to record children. Arrested in March after his wife found a hidden camera in their guest bathroom. The DA says Rovito, sentenced to two years, eight months, will be required to register as a sex offender. Tehama County District Attorney says a Red Bluff man has been sentenced to more than 100 years in state prison. The DA says Alfago Chavez Acevedo shot and killed a 52-year-old man outside a Food Max grocery store in Red Bluff three years ago. Chavez was on the run for three months after the shooting, arrested in 2020 after a standoff with police in Corning, sentenced to 110 years in prison for murder. President Biden has announced the pardon of thousands of people convicted of marijuana charges. These are breaking developments this morning. It's part of Biden's latest round of executive clemencies meant to, quote, rectify racial disparities in the justice system, he says, end quote. Biden is also granting clemency to 11 people serving for what the White House calls, quote, disproportionately long sentences for nonviolent drug offenses. One of the two endangered red pandas who live in the Sequoia Park Zoo in Eureka died Sunday. Animal care staff discovered Cinny passed while doing their early morning routine check. The zoo notes that she'd been eating well and participating in training, but after an autopsy, it was determined Cinny had an aggressive form of pancreatic cancer. City of Arcata formally swore a new Chief of Police Bart Silvers last night at Council Chambers. Recruitment done by an outside firm, but Silvers was chosen with his 22 years of law enforcement experience with the City of Arcata. Former Police Chief Brian Ahern left the job in October to be closer to family in San Diego. Now we'll send you back to Sara with that holiday forecast. Thanks, Nazi. I'll step off and show you these lows right now. We've got some freezing spots up there. Eureka 36, Willow Creek freezing. The city of Mount Shasta, quite cold up there at 25. Alturas 18. And then we've got some 20s for Bernie and Chester, but the valley looking mildly comfortable in the 40s here. And if you're heading to the Garden of Lights tonight, like Nazi and I might be doing, we've got pretty good temperatures in the 50s and the high 40s there throughout the night. It might be a little bit breezy, but overall quite enjoyable. Yeah. It's going to be great. I can't wait. It's, I'm so glad it's Friday. Friday and a holiday weekend. We're feeling festive. And before we go, we got to show our friends at home some love by sharing viewer pictures sent to us on Chime In. Starting with this picture from our viewer on the coast, Billy Torres. Hey. Billy says, Scotty is after school program stopped by their house to sing some carols and see Santa. How fun. We love to see it. Thanks for sending that in, Billy. I love it, Billy. Thank you so much always for showing us something good. And up next, we have this picture sent in by our viewer, Ginny Colton DeLong. She snapped this picture of a sleepy Santa at the Bayshore Mall. And I saw this yesterday and I just said, we got to show this on the news. Like, it's so hilarious. <laughs> the guy has a hard job. Can you blame him? No, not at all. I mean, I've got, the, you know, four kids to shop for. Can you imagine all the kids <laughs> on the planet? Like, let the guy take a nap. Some people were roasting him on social media. I said, give the guy some space to take a nice nap. He has a really difficult job. He's got some late <laughs> nights for sure. <laughs> take all the time you need, Santa. Thank you so much for showing us something good. And uh, by the way, I got to wish my boys. These are my stepsons, my bonus boys, as I like to call them. Three pictured there. Uh, Parker, Isaac and Sean today is their 21st birthday. Yay! Yay! Big 2-1. And you know, with Christmas, their birthday can kind of get lumped in. So I wanted to make sure and do something special for them to wish them a happy birthday because, and this goes for all the folks who have birthdays around Christmas time. I'm thinking of you. I'm shouting you out. Send us your pictures so that we could spread some love for you and wish you a happy birthday here on Daybreak as well. But Parker, Isaac, and Sean, happy 21st birthday. Incredible. I can't believe it. Time goes by so, so quickly, cute. right? Right. It's insane how fast it goes, but a lot of shopping if you've got birthday and Christmas back to back. So I can understand Santa, <laughs> right? <laughs> Nazi is Santa, really. <laughs> I do love the shopping, but I hate the wrapping part of it. So thankfully, I've got a good friend, Lori, who's doing all that for me. It's not a one person job. No, it's so <laughs> much work, but it looks great. We, I hope that folks send us pictures, too, of your Christmas trees, your holiday festivities, whatever people, people are doing this weekend. We want to see them and we want to show your pictures throughout the show all weekend, 
all next week, your Christmas lights, your festive displays, your Christmas trees, the presents, and anything fun and silly, maybe grandpa napping, because we get it. Believe me, we do. The stress is real. The festive is for the rest of his comedy show, I think, what is that, tomorrow night? Might need to hit that up. Yes, the stockings and the elves, <laughs> we're so excited. And the nails, Nazi's nails are so cute oh, today. You so. gotta go sparkly for once. I never do the glitter. Do you ever do glitter? No, but I love it on you. <laughs> Just once in a while, one, one time a year. And uh, the new year will be here in no time. So let's enjoy the rest of this day and weekend. We'll leave you with a live look from the Hassel Ruth Law Sky Cam. And of course, we hope that you're safe, especially on the roads out there. And make it a great day. You have a choice.